Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here. I am glad to be here. Let's start with gratitude. I've got something in my heart that is burning a hole in me, and that's gratitude. You know, um, I'm going to share a personal experience that highlights the power of how we choose to respond or react in situations. I call it the unexpected fall. Recently, after an incredible journey to Alaska on cruised. We went boats, trains, buses, automobiles, uh, up into the far northern parts of Alaska. We met some friends up there that just were wonderful. It treated us, took us to great places, a lot of experiences on glaciers, around glaciers, treacherously navigating rivers coming out of glaciers. And then we come home and we've been, hadn't been home but three or four days. And I get a call from Lori and she says, the first words out of her mouth were, I've been in an accident. And it was just, I could tell she was shaken up. She goes, but don't worry, the car's okay. <laughs> okay, that's Lori, all right? She says, but can you come to the hospital? And then the phone went dead. And of course, I'm out the door, right? And I come in and walk into a room and there's probably six or seven specialists, trauma specialists in the room. And I'm like, and this is something's wrong, really happened bad. Turns out that what happened was she was... When the doctors looked at it the first time, when different doctors, our do uh, one of our daughters is a uh, rad tech, and she's, she looked at the x-rays and she goes, it looked like, then she showed them to some of the surgeons, said, it looked like she fell off a two-story building or she got hit head on by a car. And she doesn't have osteoporosis, but she had broken her hip, her pelvis, and shattered her um, socket. How'd she do that? She was walking across the parking lot at Target and a car's coming, a truck's coming up as she was getting ready to cross. And she stopped suddenly and it stopped suddenly. And then the guy waved her on. And so she took another move. And when she moved, her foot slipped out from underneath her and something, all the physics, a million and one things happened. And that's what caused her to be in the hospital at that moment. I don't want, and we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to talk about the pain she endured, the three hours of surgery, the, the two surgeries, the three hours, but how she's finally home. But throughout it, and you can talk to her, people that worked on her at the hospital, you can talk to her friends, people around us, she maintained this huge attitude of gratitude, very, very positive. And uh, I've often heard that happiness comes when life goes according to our expectations. That would follow then that unhappiness is when we don't meet those expectations. I can guarantee you that's not the definition that I would buy into because our expectations are often not met. You know, I've reflected on this. And indeed, both happiness and unhappiness actually stem from how we choose to react or respond to life's experiences regardless of our expectations. And in those moments of unexpected challenges, we have a choice. We call it red R, green R. We have a choice. We can react out of fear, disappointment, Frustration, that's what we call a red R reaction versus a response or what we call a green R response, which comes out of gratitude, where you come into it and say, hmm, all right, now that this has happened, how can we handle this? How can I be grateful in an experience like this that had no expectation? And despite the pain, the discomfort, and the long recovery ahead, Lori has chosen to remain in an amazingly great, an amazingly good mindset. She doesn't dwell on the negatives at all. She doesn't say, why me? She's focused on the things she can be grateful for in the moment. And they trump everything else. Because she's grateful for her family, her faith, her, her friends. She's grateful for the medical care she's receiving, the kindness of the strangers, of the doctors, the nurses, the neighbors, the family, the support of family and friends that have shown up and it's overwhelming and she has such a great attitude. You know, life's always going to be full of the unexpected. That's one thing that we can guarantee, but it's how we respond that defines the experience. I have to tell you, Lori's story reminds me that even when life doesn't go as planned, we get to choose how to respond to gratitude. So this week, I challenge you, think about the unexpected moments in your life. How can you shift your reaction to a green R response? How can you, how can I respond with gratitude regardless of our circumstances? 
Gratitude is not only the greatest of all virtues, it's the parent of all others. So this week, may we all choose gratitude and find that it is the key to navigating life's unexpected moments. And I'm grateful that I get to be Nurse Lee this week. I'm learning how to do things I didn't know I could ever learn how to do. I made beds, washed dishes, cleaned floors, done a bunch of stuff. I can't even, can't even begin to tell you everything that I'm learning. But I'm so grateful that she's here. I'm so grateful for the family. I'm so grateful for her attitude because it inspires me. Have a meaningful week. Go Green R. We'll talk next week. Bye-bye.